because what Christopher Columbus and his men encountered when they first landed in what was renamed the West Indies, the Caribbean, between the Taino and the Anahuac, were a people who were so completely evolved with arts and culture and humanity and sharing and uh, even the accounts of Columbus's log talks about the magnificence of the people he first encountered. So what did he and his men do? Very quickly on that very first landing, they began the enslavement of the people they first encountered. That has resulted, really, and set in motion, the greatest genocide known in human history. Once the Taino and the uh, Arawaks and others were almost completely decimated, but not quite because their descendants are among us, but because they needed to find more gold, and someone to work the plantations, they thus began the great African slave trade. The world has been destabilized since then, but it is up to us, the current generation, to insert a level of harmony and uh, determination to bring this world back into balance. And that's what this is all about. And even though there is a huge level of indifference about the Columbus Day holiday and the man himself, there's ambivalence and there's indifference at this point because the historical record is very clear on what he was responsible for and what he set in motion. But I would argue to today, uh, to all of you and to everyone else within earshot, that indifference is not acceptable when you just kind of look past someone who was personally responsible for committing atrocities himself. So this is the beginning of something, a greater awareness, a greater enlightenment that we can all be responsible for. And as I said last month at the celebration of Indigenous Peoples Day, today and this day forward, we are all one tribe, one people. Thank you so much and may God bless all of us. And let's move forward in the spirit of light and love and determination because we will prevail. Thank you. Um, the journey is true. What Mitch said, we walked this a long time. Both Gagolino and Fernandino tribe are not fairly recognized here in Los Angeles. And it's still owed to us. These are all ancestral lands to the tribes. Areas that belong to us. Because the untruth, because the victors who wrote the history left us off. And now here is the time we come today to remove a statue that has meant genocide to indigenous peoples, that has meant the wrongful stories about who we are as native people. Today is a day that we reclaim who we are, reclaim the lands. It's time about repatriations of all these things that need to belong to native people. I'm proud to say that these commissioners, Mitchell Farrell, Hilda Solis, supervisor, we're all working towards bringing the truth out. And the biggest thing about our passion and our drive is that we're doing it correctly. We're educating people along the way. We're not, we're, as Mitch said during Indigenous People Day, we're here with a little bit of fight. And that is true. We're not backing down, we're not resisting, but we're marching forward strong with the heads up high, and we're proud about it, who we are as Indigenous people. So I thank you for, for joining us today and doing this passionate move of removing this statue. We don't even say his name anymore because it's gone. So thank you again. You know, this is a very emotional moment, I would say right now. I, I've been feeling jittery um, and emotional for a lot of different reasons. And I think part of it is um, as we fought for Indigenous Peoples Day, I remember sitting in the city council chambers when one of the times, many times we had to show up and talk about genocide and talk about how painful all of these memories are. And I remember having, um, it was cold, but I, my body started to shake uncontrollably. I couldn't, I couldn't stop it. And um, in talking to people and talking to elders, it was, you know, that is the source of that intergenerational trauma that lives in us. Um, so I just, I just want to say that because whatever all of us are feeling right now, you're not alone, right? Like we're we're healing and we're working through um, all of these feelings together. Very complicated histories that we're working through. And I just want to acknowledge the fact that you know none of us stand here as individuals. We stand here as members of a very strong community. We stand here as 
members of our families. We stand here with a long line of ancestors that fought like hell so that we can be here today. And we're not alone in that.